All right. Good. A Good afternoon. How are you, Steve? How are you, rub my bomb? Oh yeah, hiya. Oh yeah. Can you do that? Is that all right? Is that something you can do? No. Six hour spag ball, yes. Yes. What's the game? I don't remember where the game is. There you are. Get you booted. Hello, Siggy. Thank you, man. Oh, I don't. Forgot to put the desktop audio on. Every time. But there we go. There we go. It works. Everything just works. How are you staying? You been busy? Get a busy Sunday. Is this Easter? This is Easter Sunday, isn't it? Aye, the 12th. There you go. Still can't you figure out what this audio just coming in the right ears all about. Because if I pull the cable out, no the cable, see the plug, see when it's halfway in, I hear audio in the left ear, when it goes all the way in, right ear. What's that about? And just every now and again it floats, it floats. Fuck knows man. Daniel, thank you. Oh shit, what's that? What is that? Hype train incoming? What the fuck does that mean? Aiden, thank you. What is this? You'll have a limited time to earn the exclusive emotes. What the fuck does that mean? What's this? <laughs> What's happening? Sub gift or you Oh, alright, oh, right, it's one of the things to try and get folk encouraged to like donate shit. Hype trend I got a wee fright there. Cause in my brain I was like, oh is this like a raid? Is this similar to a raid type thing? Cause we all know I'm a big fan of them. Get the fuck off Twitch. <laughs> Aye, so we were here last time. We were here. Look at this, very nice. HUD, oh, there. See, just there, the audio came back in my left ear and then went again. Ah, oh, fuck knows, man. You know what, I'm too feared to even consider. It's back. I'm not going to question it. Too feared to even consider, like, Opening the computer because you know that's never getting opened again. Ever. What's the lore here? I missed the first stream. Um, <laughs> I could ask you the same question, Rob My Bum. Right, here's what I do remember. Right, that's us. We are called. Is it Zhu Sheng? And I think our brother's Mushang. And he's missing. He's disappeared. We've seen him a couple of times. This is where we turn. That's a dragon in the background there. And um how do I explain it? There's a lot of snail and bird imagery on the go. Um like you come straight out of your house and one of the first people you see is like a, a Humanoid snail, just standing looking, and you can't even, there's, like, your wee guy doesn't comment, there's no anything like, holy fuck, there's a snail person, nothing. So we've been looking for the brother, and we encountered crows, and the crows were bad, and they chased us. And I've realised now, it's set in the 1940s, I realise now it's set during Japan's occupation of Taiwan. So the crows and the birds are representing Japan, I think. And that's why 
there's elements of Japanese in some of the speech because that was that was commonplace then because you had Japanese people there and you know it's elements of that. So aye, there's a bit of that going on. And your wee brother has been, you know, vanished again by some shit. This is us coming back to the tune. I can't even mind what was. We come at the lift. Yes, this is Half Light Alex. And this is obviously significant. See this shape? That shape is the thing that. It was a toy that your dad gave you that you lost that seemed to start all of this. It was also the shape of a key to open a gate. I mean, I'm going to assume that shape is based on, you know, the wee, the wee things that they fall off trees, what do you call them? And they glide down like that. You just know what I'm talking about. And we've got notes, we've got... Oh, aye, I forgot as well, when my, our brother went missing, there was a... A paper doll arm left in his place, so I've collected two of them. I think I'm going to have to rebuild my wee brother as a paper doll. We've got notes, young man notes. Those are the notes of our uncle, Uncle Awe, who is kind of half transformed into a snail man. Beach, Beach was in the last stream and he was explaining that what he knew the snail thing is a kind of, it would be an obvious imagery thing for Taiwanese folk, the snail stuff, but it's kind of low stone us. And also the Japanese are represented by crows then because, you know, the birds eat snails, that kind of thing. This is nice though, look at this. I mean, it's it's also ominous and terrifying. Ah, yes, this place is spooky, wee man. Are you looking for your way home too? So our house is up. That's our house right there. But I don't think we can get to it. We might need to go to that graveyard. There's a graveyard at the start. Are they sycamore seeds? Is that the wee seeds I was talking about? The ones that spin. Oh, look at that. The dragon boy. So I wonder if those, like, worldly things are significant in Taiwanese culture as well, you know? Just stuff that we're maybe no privy to because. Taiwanese isn't really something that we get shown. Like, you know the way you, you know the way you can everything about Americans and stuff like that and Canadians are we're much more kinda of shown all that stuff. And obviously Japanese in a big way as well. But I Taiwanese stuff isn't he, isn't he as for us. Whatever that means. I remember that I bumped into Grandma one time when I was playing here. I miss Grandma. Ah, me too, pal. Why are you here? It feels weird here. You should hurry back as well. I go first. Fine. I'll see you later. Nobody there, mate. Right, these were the... There was big, tall graves here. Oh, it's changed. Oh. I who did know that there'd be a tunnel here, wee man? Oh, that's the body! Look, it's missing the arms and the head. Right. Did you see what came up at the bottom there? There's errors like that in the game where it must be error text. Wait, is that... That's my mum. That's the model of my mum, but it's fucked. The head was away to the side. Is this proper note six? What was that? No! No, leave me! Leave me! Crow. Crow go. Oh, you've witnessed a guy being executed in the forest. Oh, 
上亲爱的小弟，希望怪不会你阿去啊。I'm wondering if it's all meant to be that he was taken. Hold on. Damn it, I clearly saw Mooshing running out in front of me. I bet he had any arms or he'd pal. There was a bit earlier where your wee brother was trapped in a lift, but in the lift was loads of baby birds. And I wondered if that was meant to represent if the crows are supposed to be like the, the Japanese occupation type thing. I wondered if the baby birds was to represent the kind of the youth wing of whatever Japan was doing at the time. And was that meant to be your wee brother being trapped with them? Like, did he get taken by the guy who caught you? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I think you saw a guy being executed illegally, whatever you want to call it, in the woods, and it was like, shouldn't have seen that, pal. Stranger, right, so we got proper note six and strangers note six. Let me see. So this is like part of my house, but no, really. Strangers note six. Shortly after that incident, newspapers originally went all in on it, and everything changed after yesterday. The translation's a bit. Uh, uh, yesterday's suspension of publication. Traitors, what an interesting way to phrase things. Haha, <laughs> looks like everyone has been fired from the newspaper and new people are working there now. I'm not sure where the original staff went. Who told them to put their lives in the line for a single article? What a bunch of idiots. <sighs> However, I heard that something could happen to you for simply walking on the street. Staying here seems to be pretty dangerous. I better look for an opportunity to leave this place. I shouldn't be worried as the kids that regularly come to the shop have stayed at home. I should hand out the extra toys and snacks when I get the chance. They will definitely be thrilled. So that was the guy we met earlier. And, um, he was like a big chicken working in a wee shop. Proper note six. Was it seven? Yesterday a bust of gunshots came from the nearby town. I learned how severe things were just now and got into a heated argument to try and stop him from going outside. I hope we can smooth things out in the evening. Don't know who that, that one's for. All I know is that the... The young man notes, they're your uncles. Strangers notes the chicken guy that ran the shop, but I don't know who proper notes from. It's filled with stuff like that. Kind like of weird things. Hello, Prostate Puncher. Thought your t-shirt said NHS on the sleeve and I spontaneously started clapping and crying. What does it say? That's VH. Right, there's... Bad wee cat. Help. Uh, I have to clap for that. That deserves a clap. You know, could you, you clap? That must be confusing for people. Because Scottish folks say clap to mean pet. Clap the dog. You know? Oh, we're that funny and complicated, aren't we? Oh, I am one of the... One of the... Rooms in your house at the start. The room was padlocked and you couldn't get in. And... The... in the back of your house there was a massive snail shell that was like cracked open so I think your dad get like turned into a snail turned into a snail or dad's camera is there is there what mate aye why is there a copy of our family portrait here and your dad's face is all scratched at it you know which is nice Mum and the neighbour and auntie both like this very much. What is that? Is that booze? Is this the padlocked room? I think this is the room that was padlocked. Nothing inside. It is! Aye, it was this one at the end of the hall here. I think it's getting dark. There's the photo. Who tilted this frame? Mum is going to be pissed. That was the way out. Oh my god. 
It's not moving. Nor should it be, man. Oh. I love going to the market with mum. Mu Sheng would also tag along and we could buy some desserts from the market. Well, let's say deserts, but you know. Right, it's, oh, she's still cooking, right? Please don't make fun of my mum's arms, okay? Don't make fun of her arms. Mum said there's a lot of delicious marinated foods inside. Maybe I won't get caught hiding inside the- What? It's full of liquid you eat, idiot! <laughs> Your ma's a T-Rex, mate. I think the reason the mum's like that is because I think they just took the child model and tried to stretch it up, but it maybe fucks with the arms in some way. You know, the mind, mind at the end of Mass Effect 3, where the person's holding a child's arm in silhouette, but the child is just an adult. They scale down, so nothing's in proportion for a child. Right, what did she want? She wanted the rice. <laughs> Never mind, I'm good. Okay, she wanted me to heat the rice. Something about garlic. Right, there's the rice, that's the offering rice. Didn't mum get the rice today? See, we've already, we've already kind of done this at the start of the game. We've already kind of done things at the start of this. The tea is cold. I hope dad buys me soda. I don't like drinking bitter tea. Don't drink it then, mate. Why is the gate closed so early? Dad and Mooshing haven't come home yet. Going to the market. Aiden, what you will come to realise is that it's not that you hate the children in Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's that you hate the game. Because it's fucking shite. I've wrote, <laughs> me and Barry were talking last night and we were just laughing and ripping into it and ripping into it. And then he said something and I just wrote, I hate this game, Barry. And it was like, ah, uh, 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 an epiphany hit me. That, oh, that's what it is. I don't like this game. And it felt great to realise what my issue was. It's my issue. Oh, I fucking don't like this. Dad always carry this case around. Why is it here? Right, well, I got the rice. I take it the marinade is that big jar. Am I chucking the rice in here? Mum said there's a lot of delicious marinated food inside. Maybe I won't get... Aye, right, you said that. What, right, do I need to give her the rice? I like the battle, but I'm really fed up with the walking in between. But you get one battle, then 20 minutes of fucking walking. <laughs> I spoke about it before. I spoke about it before. The game does feel like you're playing it with somebody, their hands on your shoulders. And they're going, right, walk, stop, look over there. Ke keep looking, I'll tell you, right, you can go. Right, there's a fight. Right, come here. Go. Stop. Here. Shuffle shuffle through that. Climb under there. Go under. Right, back here. Look at that. Look at it. Right, go. Come here. It's fucking constant. Dog shit. It's dog shit. The original is so good. The original is so fucking good. And I've had a really bad time with... Doom Eternal, and then fucking Resi 3 Remake, and knew this. And it's made me absolutely like... Fuck it. Fuck it. I paused it earlier when I was playing it, and I saw 35 hours at the bottom of the screen, the screen and I went... Argh! 
a noise come at me, just hatred and bile and disgust with myself. Mom, I'm going to take this fucking rice. I don't know what I'm doing. The instructions are only clear because they're badly translated. I picked up rice, Mom. Got the rice. Oh, do you need these? <laughs> <laughs> it's still not a tomato plant. Mum, are you alright? No, a tomato plant. What is that? What's that meant to be? Mum looks really weird. Wrinkled kumquat. It's kumquats. Hope th I hope they're always like this. Wow, he said it. That's right, top tier mage. He said it. Here's the thing, rub my bum. Like, everybody knows that it's for loading. People are saying, I that, that's that's to hide loading. You go, I we know. We've played fucking games before. I've played a million fucking games on my life. I can spot a loading loading transition a mile away. Just just fucking just lo load it all. Give me a loading screen. Load the fucking lot of you in. Make me sit for a minute and a half if you need to. And then let me wander about. It's just I said it before, the fucking doors that you have to look at when you're getting in and out to your apartment, this doesn't have a proper texture on it. It's a blur. It's a big fucking blur. It's rotten, man. I hate it. I hate this game. <laughs> no, this game. It's fucking... Uh, uh, Squared, you wasted your fucking money. You wasted hundreds of money. Fucking. <laughs> Obviously, you know, we exaggerate these things for comedy on the streams. I don't hate it. There's plenty of bits that I do enjoy. But I'm just like. I'm just like. I don't feel good playing it. I'm not getting any enjoyment. I'm pushing myself through it. Just kind of like. The. You know. I preferred 15, and I thought 15 was alright. I liked the boys more than anything else in 15, I just liked the characters and, you know, the reinteractions and their stuff, but... Whew, this game, man. Why can I not do anything here? Why can I not do anything? I got the kumquat. I got the rice. The tea does nothing. Was there something else in here? Oh, was it this stuff? No. Oh! Ah, garlic. Mum didn't chew me out for not bringing Mu Sheng back. Mouldy garlic. Right, so we've just got a lot of shite food. A lot of shite food. You know it was a good bit earlier when I was playing the the incredible remake of Final Fantasy 7, 10 out of 10. Um I'll stop that, I'll stop all that part. Um I was fighting a optional boss. And it was it was rough going, but I was getting there. And then I got it down to that much health, right? And the boss went. Aah! And the attack, you know that you know the name for boss attacks come up. Well, enemy attacks. And instead of having a name, it was just question marks. Like, oh fuck, what's the attack? And it played an anime, like a like the cat. The camera was wrenched away from me once again to zoom in on the boss and show it doing a big ah scream, and rocks started falling for the ceiling, and your characters can't move. So I had to stand still, and let the rocks from the ceiling hit me. And they killed us. And and I was just like, ha ha ha, brilliant. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh shit. She's went away. Mum? Where did she go? 
Oh, is this her greeting? Is this her greeting like um one of the flashbacks she had earlier in the game was her like wailing, sitting wailing in the corner and you saying, I'll go and look for him. And that's when when you came around for the flashback, you were like, Is this no the first time I've had to go and look for my brother? No, is there he down here? Nah. Well, I thought it might have been that. Let's see. She somehow through here. She oh my god, it's gonna be scary spooky. She's gonna be all fucked up slug style. <gasps> that photos? Oh don't this is like a showcase for the bad arms on your mum. Oh there's the neck. There's the heat away. Like her arms are fine there. Man, a child should never be having to tell themselves to inhale and exhale, that's... That's worrying. Is she normal now? Is she cooking big dinners? Mother? Great, we can start eating in a bit. By the way, why haven't I seen him around? Is he still in bed? Hmm, it's just... How should I put this? Hurry up and call Shi Sheng. I'm Shi Sheng! I'm Shi Sheng! What the fuck? Am I doing the bit for the start? I don't like the way she's just stoning like that. Oh. But that's not the way the house looked. This is that room fucking mirrored! Oh my god. Oh my god, it's bad stuff. Bad stuff skin doing. Proper note 8. Right, let's have a read at it. Uh, Zhu Sheng has finally, be finally began being rebellious. I don't know what happened, but he loves to get into arguments with his little brother. Late his little brother lately and has also begun to talk back. I think it's really cute, but my husband can't accept this type of behaviour. He wants children to be like him or be better than him. Sometimes he even uses a belt to whip Zhu Sheng. And every time he lashes him, I feel my heart getting lashed as well. I guess I can't spoil them both too much. I need to slowly allow them to become more mature and independent human beings. Oh well. That cleaver only has one materia slot, don't bother. That's another thing. Materia is just it's pure fucking backseat shit. Doesn't he feel that you can experiment and do mad shit with materia like you can in the original? It just feels like we we I fucking don't know. You've got to understand that because there's things I don't like, I become hyper fixated on every other aspect to the game and end up hating that, even if there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you know, like um, it's like that tweet where if you hate somebody, no anything they do is like, oh fuck, shut up, fucking shut up. You know. Just because you don't like them, is that kind of... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, right, cool. Down here, down here. Right. Done talking about that game. There's the headless and armless brother. His food has gone cold. You need your arms and your heat. Wait, he's saying ghost about me. That's him running to my mum. Saying a ghost. Have I been dead the whole time? He talked about that. He talked about sleeping cuddling with your mum and dad. Hello, Dark One Dagger. 
There's nothing. There's nothing left. What is happening? I think I, I think it might be that you're the deed brother. Finally, the dad. Oh, he's got the arms and all. That slap after the big One on. So you get blamed, I think, for your wee brother going missing, and you were calling it the monster, and it's probably been a Japanese soldier that because you saw him shooting somebody in the forest, he's kid he's went for years and managed to get your brother. I think. Who's who wants in? Yeah, Alright, I'm just I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Two seconds. No. Cleaver? Can I take the cleaver? No. The marinade. Hide in the marinade. Hold your breath. He could not fit in there. Fuck that. Oh, it's the crows! They probably took your dad away, you know. Right, they've wrecked the joint. It's a mess. She's saying Ji Sheng. I'm Ji Sheng. And it's her he did that because she hung herself? That chair just fell. Surely that's her killing herself. You know, the neck like that and then a chair coping her. Put your arms. I've got arms for you. It's almost over. Just wait for me a little longer, Mushing. Can I know give him the arms? Right. <gasps> the flies on the really helping, you know. With me thinking I can rebuild this brother. The door's locked. The fuck, man? Mushing. Mushing. Okay. No, are they significant? In like Taiwanese culture, you know that plant. It's 
It's a shame because my my only exposure every single time, my only exposure to Taiwanese stuff is through Taiwanese horror games. Every single time. It's it's like the only proper exposure I've had to the place. <laughs> All right, so we need a knocker for that door. This door has been locked up. Is something missing up there? Because the Taiwanese do make cracking horror stuff. Oh God. That? Your internet's been utter dog shit during lockdown, Aiden. Man, much to bet that's because you live in like Edinburgh and more people are home using it. Could that maybe be? Is this some snail nest nonsense? Big the cat's going to be in there. Just fishing. I can't remember what Big's voice was like. My brain wanted to go, come on, froggy. Is that what his voice was like? Oh, right, museum time, is it? Shit, there's the dad's cooking. Here's his face, visible. And there's me, and there's Mooshang. So, my crow. Is that dad angry? Shit, I forgot that was John St. John. The voice pick the cat. That's range. That's that's good range. So I that thing has chased me a few times. There's mum crying, there's I think that's the guy chasing us. There's us with the the flyer things, the key, whatever you want to call it. Oh man, frame rate's taking a hit. Oh, that was us drawing pictures. All oh, right, so I've missed some of these. That's like the other one's missing. Not by the village. Oh, that's the that's one of the things the big snail man was painting. The one that was screaming at me to get him paints. Yeah, hello? You okay? Hello? Yes, fine. Oh. Ah, it's a photo. I barely found any of the photo pieces. Aye. I've missed one, two, three, six. Missed six places. Pieces. Right, into lifts. We do a lot of in and out of lifts in this. Oh, grand. That's just... Oh! Oh, I didn't think that was going to be a thing. I wonder why I'm able to do that? Oh god, right, either fully on patrol or they... Lucky me. Right, where these walk? So you go left. Good. Don't even know where I'm meant to be going. I'm just assuming this will be the right way. Maybe. Oh, 
I wish the stuff that's been said here was subtitled. Just so I had an idea of what was being talked about. This building? Have we gone to this building? Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know where the game wants me to go. I don't know how much running I can get away with. Oh, no, 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 no. Nah, I'll go this way. Bastard, you weren't there before. You gonna move anywhere? I can go this way to get by him. I think the other side's too close to him. But no, I think this might be too close and I think he might get me. Oh. Okay. Ah, there's a door. Bye. That's us. That's us. Happy. Labyrinth graffiti. Oh, is this more puzzle shit? So this this is probably another one where it's today we like the the snail one being dotted the circle, and the direction of like the fish head. So that's been a kind of recurring thing a few times. Young man, no eight. That'll be my uncle. The chaos started to calm down after a month. I guess the raging mouths were filled up with bullets. However, they are still angry and no one knows when they'll erupt in anger again. This was different from the freedom we had in mind, but thinking of it now, maybe surviving is the best thing already. Even though there were no bad intentions when the defence force was formed, I'll have to bear with this unilateral bullying for now. What worries me the most now is, I brought him back and thought he had improved a lot, but found that he began to go out and wander around these past few days. He sometimes skipped along the roads and other times he would run along the trails. I'd follow him to prevent him from doing something terrible, and we'd always end up finding him outside of a... San Juan? San Juan? Uh, looks like more time is required. I, your uncle took in a wane. And I, I entrusted this acquaintance with a boy that sustained a head injury. You can't exactly be a fugitive when you have to take care of a wounded child. Thankfully I found someone to take care of the boy. Um, I have some part about him taking care of something. Like as if it's not actually a child. Oh fuck, right. Crow, I take it you don't want me coming near here? Are you alright? Is this allowed? Oh shit. I fucked it. So if I'm, if I'm getting through the bird door it should be a round bit. That one was dotted. So I think it will loop me or something. I'm assuming that's what this is going to be. That's us. Oh, I just want to complete one of them. Just one of them. That's that. Right, so I think if I can... Oh, fuck. Oh, no, wait. There's Snail. Fuck. Is he coming down here? Wait, what am I meant to do then? Can I wait for him to go that way and then... I go this way? That one's dotted. But the pig one's round. So this is what's kind of throwing me. I guess I'm getting in. Oh. 
Oh, there's mum. There's a wooden carve in her mum. I fucking shat it. Shat it. Ooh, right. <laughs> okay, right. So, bird dotted. Oh well, I should have kept an eye out for him, shouldn't I? Right, that is dotted, so I'm not going in that. So I'm waiting for him to go by and I'll go around that way. Hopefully he goes past. Great walk cycle you got there, son. Your mother would be proud. Right, that's a safe distance to run. <gasps> ah, fuck. Well, that's me fucked, isn't it? Because he's definitely coming around here. Unless he turns. Do you turn, sir? Sir, would you ever turn around and go? Thank you. Oh, what a gent. What a gentle man. Slug person. Good thing is, they don't react to the light. But the light isn't actually doing much for me here. The light has been kind of useless because the actual game's styling and shading make everything quite normal to see, right? That's the fish. It's the dotted snail door I want to go in. No. I should maybe wait here. If he'll come back up past me. Let's see. Aye. I'm just assuming this is me doing the correct thing. Just assuming this is the way to do it. I don't even know, and I've not exactly tested it, but we'll see. Oh fuck. Alright, he, he'll turn around anyway. I'm no a hundred percent sure how close I can get, but you know, don't I don't I risk it. You know, I've come so far. Sneaking down these corridors. So this I think will be the snail door that's dotted. Yes. Right. Pardon me, so go in this one. But knew what? That's the pig. That'll be the bird. So that one's the fish. What does that mean then? Because there's nothing, nothing's changed in here. Can he interact with anything? Hmm. And they're all dotted. What does that mean? Am I missing something here? Because it's not as if there's even anything there to indicate an order you need to do them in. Or should I just go any one of these, but make sure I go round until I can get in each one of them with a normal circle? Like... So there, the pig one's got a normal circle. Oh, am I maybe, am I maybe getting in the snail one each time and coming out each of them to make it close with a circle? You know what I mean? 
I think it makes it a circle if I come out that door. So maybe if I keep getting in the snail one, if that's the case, I should be going right here to try and go in the snail one again. Let's try that. I'm thinking that's what it is. The puzzles have been alright in this. They're no, they're no mad, but they've at least taken like a bit of thinking. Oh wait. I mean, I'll, I'll just wait for him to come past and I'll keep getting round, see what's happening. I mean, does anything happen when I approach this? No. Hmm. There was a good puzzle last time and it was... It was like four numbers on a thing. You, you know when you've got like wee, wee dials with numbers on them? There was four numbers to set to go to this room. And the first number had an I symbol. The middle two had a snail symbol. And the last one had a mouth symbol. So you were looking around the room and it's like, right, I could see three eyes in the room. So I'm going, right, three for the eyes. Nah. And then it was only when I realised... My, my, oh shit, that's not going to work. This isn't going to fucking fuck. It's not going to fucking work. I'm going to get trapped there if I do that. Um, it's when I realised that my wee guy in this room, he had tape over his mouth. And I realised, oh, so the mouth must be zero. Because there's no mouth. And it was after that I realised, yes, there's three eyes in the room, but your eyes make it five. Just a nice wee hang where you're like, oh, oh. Feels good. Feels good instead of getting like stuck for half an hour and asking somebody to Google it or brute force and shit. <laughs> Wait, I could have made that if I hadn't crouched. Once he was by, why did I keep crouching? I could have just ran round there. I'm an idiot. Like that. Right, fish one's open now with dots, so I should ignore that then, shouldn't I? Cause like that's that's the room with mum hanging, that's the bad room. So maybe I should just keep circling and only get any ones that have the normal room with me the carving of me and my brother. This should be the bird one. That's bad room. Wait for him to come back. So I've only done the snail one so far, haven't I? Was the... Oh, I don't know, I commit the snail one, I went that way. I went in the snail and commit the pig one, didn't I? The pig one should be shot, but maybe now that I'm going to ruin it, isn't he? Because once I went in there, with the room with the mum hanging, that's just like, doors close. And then the hands. Oh my god, the hands. <gasps> oh fuck, I forgot that dead ended room there. Fuck. I forgot I can't go around in a big circle. Fuck, I'm not going in there. Come on. None of the other ones were open, are they? If I go in there, I'm dead. What am I missing here? Unless it wants me out the snail door. 
I might get killed. I might just get killed. I'll try just going run for an early look, and if no, I'll get killed, and I'll try getting out the snail door. That's still a bad door. That shot. I feel like I've cost myself by what I said about the puzzles being decent. <laughs> oh, let's go and get killed then. Can you get me here? No? No. Right, let's get killed the new. And I'll just try and out the fish door. Here, big man. How close do I need to be? About that close. Okay. Evening. So, in through the crow. Door shuts. Out through the snail. That snail? Yes. That's bad room. But wait, the one across hasn't he shut? Is this going to shut when I go in? Right, come on, where are you? There they are. And nothing else. I wonder if it's giving me hints about the fish because this was the pots that I caught fish in earlier. And there's the hook for catching fish. I'm confused. Is it maybe anything to do with the lighting? Like, crows get a red light. Because colours have been a big thing. Like sequences of colours and all that. There's bird pig fish. I don't know if that's the order that things are meant to go. That was for another one. Hmm. They do have different lights. Like the bird's red. And then the fish is green. Snail's blue. The pig's purple. So it's red red bird. Blue snail, green fish, purple pig.
I'm gonna try and go in the pig one and come out the snail one. Maybe the snail one needs to be the last one I come out. Oh, good. I think. I hope. See, this is this is the stuff. This is pure stream poison, man. Bad room mode. Bad room mode. So it's probably going to do the same run at the pig door, but I'll just check. I'll just check. And if I don't get it, I'll ask Aiden for a hint. <laughs> just a hint, mind you. Uh, a wee point in the right direction. But I'm pretty sure when I get around here, the pig door's also going to be bad room mode. Oh! I, I did it somehow. Somehow I've done it. Proper note nine. Remember how Xu Sheng wished he had a little brother on his last birthday? Now he has one. Our entire family is ecstatic. Let's hope this adorable newborn and his brother can have peaceful and happy childhoods. I will be there with you guys till the very end. Right, so that's proper note has either been my mum or my dad. Was it maybe that I just avoided the snail door entirely? Maybe that was it. Oh, that's the... For, no, why did I go oh, That's for the mouth, isn't it? Fragment. I need two. I need two. There's a snail. Oh, see, that could have, could have been a badge and could have just been like, oh, it's safe now. The game wouldn't do that to me, surely. I, I don't get it either, Aiden. I think it was that I just avoided the snail door because snails have been a recurring keep away kind of theme in the game so far. Yeah, oh, I don't win. Sorry. Get me up here and away for these big bastards. The walkthrough you watched, they went in the fish door. Pfft, fuck knows then, man. Fuck knows. Oh no, sorry. Did I say fish door? I meant the snail. I think I think it doesn't matter what order you do the rest of them in, as long as you like you could go crow. Pig, fish, snail, or maybe you could go crow, fish. I think it's just avoid the snail door. Seems to be. What is this? Is that some cordyceps shit? Uh, okay. Okay, that's just arms. That's just a box of arms. Strangers no eight. Oh, strangers the old chicken man that ran the show, I believe. Here we go. Oh. There have been too many unexpected incidents recently, which is why I haven't written down everything that happened in front of me. He looks a lot better now, but he still has a bandage for the wound in his head. His face was still covered in sadness, which made it difficult for me to tell him what he wanted to know. Therefore, I lied to him. I lied that his family had already taken a boat to find shelter, and that we were about to go meet up with him. He looked at me and slowly nodded, but I somehow feel like he has seen through my lie. I think he knows that he won't get an answer if he continues asking questions. What a smart kid. My lie is pretty much a joke to him. Right, so when your uncle, from the young man notes, had 
spoken about a child with a head wound being given to somebody, it was given to the stranger who's the guy that ran the shop, right? Hello big bros, you picked a banging time to show up, who knows what's going on. As you can see, we have a box of arms, so you know, all good things. Now this was the room we woke up in, this is you and your brother's room I think. So... Let's, I don't know, shake hands with the arm. Magging in that box. Oh, there's the other half. That was Mum's wee T-Rex arm. Cool, great. I'm almost there, Mooshing. I'm coming, Mooshing. No, am I getting a chase here? Feels a big chase. No? Yep, big chase. Run, bitch! And to the left. Oh. That seemed as if I shouldn't have been able to go doing that drop there, but I did. <gasps> oh, right. Oh, he's done. Oh, fucking get down. Go. Jesus. Oh, come quats. Is this why I was able to get back into the lift? But none of this is... This is a museum again. Don't move, bitch. Oh, I think this was the way. Door shut behind me. I feel safe. Feel safe. We'll get your head, wee man. Don't worry. Oh, wait. Is this meant to be like a mad metaphor that the heat kind of lines up? That's kind of fucking me up big time, that. I can't handle... I can't handle a Wayne carrying a, like an injured Wayne or anything on their back. I can't... Aye, that, that, that messes with me. Because it always reminds me of that photo of the wee boy that, I think it was a wee Japanese boy taking his dead baby brother to the funeral pyre, if you like. And he's got him tied to his back and he's carried him for fucking miles and he's getting his shoes and that and he's standing saluting and the, the wee baby behind him just oh aye fucks me up fucks me up big time this is cheery innit Easter <laughs> Easter Sunday streams what haunts you at night well are you in Lost Isolate man Lost Isolith would feel like a holiday beach. Hello, Wet314. Oh, there's the heat. What is that? Is that a different one? Oh fuck. Oh I just realised look it's heeds growing on that plant. Where are we going? Lads, where are we going? I can't I can't see a way out. Is it through this? Yes, mate. Snail shells. Get fucked. Oh, come on, Mooshing. There's Mr. Pig. Come on. You with me? Oh, he's with me. He's with me. There's a left. There's a left. Get in the left. Oh, 
都算好乖宝贝。姐啦，姐会当入去。是不是说的？无安尼，嗯，等我去头前找看卖咧。隆重想起来啊！吼！别走！别跑！别来啊！不要紧，你所失去的物件，母亲，过几日，几日，快过来！狗屎！狗屎！囡仔哩！哎呀，你紧闭起来！鬼怪不呀？卡莎，你莫阁卡我啊！我马上就来找木星。多多的。你来等啦，卡莎，一定会足欢喜的。That's the laugh. That's the laugh at the start of the game. The laugh you were hearing. <laughs> I love the English translator's name being in Taiwanese. Oh, it's Kickstarter. I'm just kind of running through it all in my head. Like, he must have... <laughs> it's really peeking out. I mean, it, it must... Your brother must have been killed. I wish I understood more about the snail thing. Hmm. Don't know. I enjoyed it. Not a bit different. I'm just trying. Because that felt pure. 
Obviously that was purely, you know, too good to be true type shit. But... Was the... I'm trying to, it's, it's like, um, I'm trying to match the symbolism, if you know what I mean, in my head for crows, the baby birds, the guy that ran the shop being like a rooster. So, you know what I mean, like, he's kind of the crow, but no really the crows, and then... Then the snails, and the fact that... Hold on. Boom. And mute. Cool. Hold on, let me quit that so it's no playing in my ears. Things like, um... Right, the snails, there was the snail people, and your uncle, but your uncle was like, as if he was partially a snail. He still had a kind of humanoid, he had more of a humanoid shape to him than the other snails. So I wonder, was the snail meant to be like an allegory for becoming the prey for the crows? You know what I mean? Like, um, no, I don't mean giving up, but like, maybe making yourself an easy target. So was him being partially to show that he's heading towards becoming a target for them? I don't know. Like Beach said, much to think about. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. And I'm pretty sure if you're somebody for the um Oh wait, hold on. Oh, roosters are a symbol of wealth and prosperity, right? So he, because he runs a shop. That makes sense, I suppose. I'd be interested if there was a, someone I could read just a wee bit more about it. To, just, to, just maybe an idea about, um, the kind of cultural stuff as well, and maybe events that, it's always, like, obviously a big part of it's the 1940s Japanese occupation of Taiwan stuff, but... If there was somewhere I could get a wee bit more info, that'd be cool. Aye, I enjoyed that. Short and sweet. Enough mad shit, enough wild visuals. Oh, there is another ending if you get all the documents and photos. Ah! Oh, I don't then. Oh, I don't. Let's see if we can maybe have a wee look at that. Oh, Aiden, look, you're saying it doesn't help that location in Dark Souls 3 has the same name. Every single time I tried to look for decent high-res art for the game, fucking photos of people in Dark Souls 3 in that place, or showing you a spear build to use at this place, and... Hold on. Where did you see there's another ending, Steve? Have I moved my room about? Did I know have a windy behind me before? The windy's right there. The windy's just here. Off camera. It's because when I'm playing a PC game, the camera has to sit there. And when I'm playing on my telly, camera sits over there. So, this is PC game. That's PS4 game. You see? This is, oh my god, look at this gorilla shit. Look at this. Gone rogue. He's went off, he's not. Oh, hold on. Oh, the review section of Steam, right? Hold on, let's look. Let's look at this. So, 
So it's a true ending. Person saying, I'm, act I'm actually amazed by the story and how it was totally different without seeing the true ending. Gaming experience could improve a bit, but the story and how it was revealed was perfect. Ah, fuck. Why don't you see it? Why don't you see it? Is nobody... Go on. Fuck me. half light true ending. Bloodborne, Final Bosses, <laughs> Dark Souls 3, The Ring City OST. <laughs> Aye, and the rest is just for a film called Half Light that was for 2006. <sighs> I guess we'll never know. That's the sad thing about when you've got like a wee indie game like this, and like, see when I looked at, um, when you look at the store page in that. 80 reviews. It's like, that's, that's, you know, small for like, steaming that. There's no the same like, amount of information for stuff like that. Bastard. I wanted to know. I wanted to know. And it's no as if it can be like, um, oh, I'll look up a wee guide or wherever it is and I'll just do another wee run through it. You know there's no a fucking guide for all the stuff. You know there is, isn't Come on. Don't say mental shit. Sorry, I get caught up just reading shit. How are you doing? Everybody all right? Oh no, what's the other ending? half game, endings. See, all it's coming up is like old gameplay for like 2018 when your character looked very different. Then everything else is about, you know, half light Spirit of the Church. Oh, that shite. Sticks, Shards of Darkness. I think a boss in that's called half light Oh, you fun it? Hold on, Steve's found it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, it's fun. Let's try. Yeah, hold on. Wait, hold, hold the fucking bus. This looks incredibly different. Oh, Doan, this is a 20 minute video. And it all seems to be a level that isn't there, that wasn't there. And cutscene shit. What? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this on here. Everybody can go and watch the video that Steve's linked. <laughs> 20 minutes, man. That's mental. Aye, this is like... Bits and stuff that's... That I didn't even see. You're looking at a fucking clone of you wearing a mad white mask. What is this? White face. That's mad. Aye, this is wild. I'm 
I'm going to go and watch that. I may watch it later, actually. I don't know. That was quite short, hour and a half. I might, I might take a wee five minutes, and then I might stream some Dragon Quest Builders too. Hold on, translation of YouTube title says New Game Plus? Shing Half Light starts a new game plus Youth Note 9 True Ending. Hmm. Okay. I'll definitely have a look at that later. What time's that? Right, that's going on at half past, right? Let's see. 22. So just over 10 minutes. Stream some Dragon Quest Builders. Ooh. Did everyone do their Animal Crossing egg stuff? Aye. It wasn't worth it. I did everything. I got the super special prize. And when he said what the prize was, I wanted to spit in his face. Aye, Beach. It's it's like, I, I was just skimming through it. It's like completely different. It's so weird, man. Very weird. Aye. So, I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Okay? Dragon Quest Builders 2. I need to say the stuff though, don't I? Right. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me. You take care of yourselves. Brush and flush your teeth. Wash your ass. Wash your hands. Stay inside unless you need to go. And I'll see you another time. And try and be the best person you can be in your day to day life. Right, see you in 10 minutes. Oh.